Hey everybody, this is Robert Price. So we're gonna get right into it. Um, this is just a part two, so we're just gonna continue um, with what we were doing in uh, part one, okay? So um, if you haven't watched that video, please check it out, okay? All right, now there's no particular key, you know, just like the last video, I was just going from, you know, just random keys um, conveying the idea. Um, well, but today I'll at least start in C, okay? All right, so um, this is a different concept, all right? This concept right here is going to be playing the bebop scale, a bebop scale a whole step um, down from the key you're in, okay? All right, I just want to get right to it. This video should not be long, okay? Now, before, you know, um, I did go over like a pentatonic scale you can do, but on this one, I want to cover something else. So if we're in the key of C, right? We went over the actual blues scale. So I'm just gonna do a quick and C is, okay? Those are the notes for the C blues scale, okay? Now, let's look at something. Let's look at the B flat major bebop scale, okay? Let's just take a quick look at that. Watch this. Okay? You see this? You got that in there, right? And then you also got that E flat in there. So some of these, these notes are the same as the C blues. So I'm gonna show you. Now, previously I did um, a video um, not too long ago where I did this run right here. I think it was called Jazzy and Blues Run or something like that. I did this. Okay, I got that from um, that concept, okay? Now I, I'll do it slow. Okay, that's like like that's why I called it jazzy, you know. Okay, I was thinking about that B flat um, bebop scale last year. Okay, B now I also want to um, tell you this: when it comes to these scales, a lot of times it's really good to mix them. Okay, because I also want to, wanted to cover some um, chromatic ideas. Okay. Um, of course, like if a chromatic scale, it skips no notes anyway, you know, it's just So you can start anywhere, okay? But I'm just going to show you how to combine some of these scales. So when I'm thinking of C, if I'm on it or in any key, if I'm here and we're like in a church mode, I'm thinking about that blue scale, but I'm also thinking about that B flat um, um, major bebop scale, okay? Because it, it shares the same notes. Okay, I hope you got that. I may be going a little bit faster just so we don't be here too long, okay? But um, here we go. So if I'm on the three, okay? Oh, before I get to that, I also want to um, um, talk to you about landing on chord tones too. So this is what I mean. Here we go. Okay, this is that three, right? Let's go to the four. Um, We can do... You can do something like this, right? You hear that? That's pretty cool. Um, I do that those type of runs a lot. You remember in the last video, I was saying, um, for me, the four is a place where I always kind of come out with a run. Um, I use the three as just, you know, I literally just made that up, but I'm going to show you how I'm getting that. Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm still thinking about that B flat, <laughs> that B flat, um, major bebop, but I'm mixing it. So what I'm doing is this, since I'm on the four with that chord tone, you know, I know I'm on a F dominant. Okay. So with that being said, uh, I like to land on my flat seven a lot, either my flat seven or the third. Okay, so keep that in mind when you're on a chord and you're doing a run, even in jazz, you know, um, when you're doing a run, you want to um, use chord tones, right? Uh, for me, I land on a chord tone. So a strong, a strong pull for me is that, uh, that flat seven. So you keep that in mind when you're doing it. So what I did was, I did this. So, 
Okay? So that's what I did. I started with here. Okay? So as you can see, start with that E flat, that E flat and G. This right here is in the what? The B flat um, uh, major bebop. Okay? And the major bebop pretty much says that you sharp the five. Okay? In that key. So. Okay? So. So. That's all I did. And it still sounds churchy over that four. So I could have done this. Right? That's nothing special. But I'm just letting you know that you can really get creative with this type of stuff, okay? So let me show you that run, the first one I did. So I did this. So you see, I'm gonna do it slow. So, so you see how I graze that? Just go down the scale, okay? Now, a chord tone is A, right? Because I am on the four. I'm on that F. Right, so I could do this, right, and that'd be okay. But to add just a little more color or a little more feel with it, what I did was when I got to this B flat, I said, you know what, I'm gonna do like a you know, like a little chromatic movement. So, what I did, okay, get used to doing those little half step movements, okay. Um, if I'm on the four. I went here. You you could have done here. You know, anything. You know, I just want to open up your mind, but that's a good place to do it. Okay? You can do that G, G sharp to that A. Okay? So that's a nice little run. You could do that, but like I said, for me, I like to end on that flat seven of the chord. Okay? So we're on F dominant. Uh, or, you know, I'm playing a nine with it, but I love doing that. So definitely add that to your, your, you know, your catalog when you're doing your runs. Okay. Uh, so, and then I go to that one, seven, flat seven. Okay. And that's still a part of that, that B flat dominant. I mean, B flat, um, major bebop. Okay. And it still gives you that churchy sound, okay? So please take um, take that away. Remember, the concept is you uh, you go to the a uh, whole step down from whatever key you're in. In this um, situation, we're in the key of C. So we're gonna go down to B flat. That's the whole step down, and just do the major bebop. It gives you some feel. Um, you remember? I think last video I did say you can start on a two. So. See, that also gives you that feel. You know? Okay? And you remember when I did this? That, you can get all that from that, okay? So, um, let's try, you know what, let's try, uh, let's try it in C sharp. Let's go up. Let's just go up to C sharp. Okay? Now, since I'm in C sharp, we're operating off that B um, that B major bebop, okay? So let's see if some of the notes um, correspond with the C sharp blues scale. So here, we go, here go to C sharp blues scale. Here go the B major bebop scale. I already see um, some of the notes. You'll see it more, you know, the more you, um, you know, play with it. So here we go. So we're in C. We're doing that walk up. I just do the famous, right? So you remember I told you, for me, I, I do a lot of runs when I get to the four. So, okay. So you can do something like, let's start on that two this time. I, um, when, I, when I'm thinking in this type of mode or whatever, um, I usually do something off the two, you know, of C sharp. I'm in C sharp. All right. So, so we can do something like, let's do like a longer run. So, or okay. 
I'm always going to land on that three or flat seven. So here we go. That's the three we can do. Um, okay. And that's kind of similar to what I did in C. But. Okay. All right. I'm trying to tell you, maybe I'm doing this a little bit um, easier, you know, than you may do it at first. But it's like, once you get this, you're going to be able to do, you know, more advanced stuff than what I'm doing. This right here is just a, a starter, right? But I'm just saying, right now, what I'm doing is, although I'm on the four, right, I'm still thinking about the B, um, that, you know, that B scale, okay? And what I'm doing is, I'm saying, well, can, where can I start? You can you can almost start anywhere you want. It just for me, these are popular pulls. I kind of start on like the B major chord a lot of times, right? You know, and I actually talked about that in the previous video as far as um, where I like to start on C sharp. You know, you know, little stuff like that. You remember, you're combining scales, so it's like I'm thinking about that B major scale. I'm also thinking about uh, that C sharp, and I'm just going to combine. Okay, so you just want to sit and play with it. So, okay. And I think I did this run something like this last time. So you can do, I think that's what I did last time. But on that three, you can start it. Okay. Once you get to that beat, okay. Okay. That's how I finish it, okay? I don't want to necessarily break it down note for note because I just want to give you the ideas so you can start kind of playing with it. But I am going slow enough so you can at least see it, okay? Um, let me see. All right? Once I get to that B flat, that's when I'm on my four, okay? So... Let's see, uh, I think I did this last video, right, all that, but let's do something chromatic. We can do something like this, um, right, that's a, chrom I use chromatics on that. What I did was I thought about the B scale and the C sharp, um, blue, and I just combined it. This, this is all I'm doing. I started from that, um that B. And what I did, I just literally just went down chromatics. This is the little part that I want to talk about. Okay? Now, um, for me, I like to finish my runs off like this. I love to do that, even when I was doing it in a previous video. Remember that? I love doing that major, I love adding the major third in there. Um, it's something about that major third, when you put it in the right place, it sounds really good. So, right? So, what I did was, if we was on the one, uh, I mean on that five, you can do, um, right? That sounds pretty good. Okay? So, I start on that B, just walk it all the way down. But, I do a little grace note, so I start on that A. Okay? 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 Once I get to that F sharp, that's when I do, okay? Because I got to give myself the room to actually do this, okay? So if you asking, how do I come up with this? Like, wait, what made you even do that? It's like, honestly, uh, I, I'm thinking I'm using the B scale anyway. So I said, why not start on that flat seven? You remember, these are strong pulls. Um, if I'm on that five, I know I'm getting ready to go back to the one. So for me, in that case, I was just like, well, let me just try somewhere. Um, I'm th I was thinking about the B, bebop scale anyway, so I said I'll just start on B and just do something chromatic. Okay? But like I said, I love to finish my runs off like this. So, I could have kept going, you know, you know, but you just want to know where you're going to end. I knew I was going to do this. Okay? So you don't just want to be out here just clueless in a way, but at least now you have some scales that you can kind of think about. So um, here we go. We, are, we already done this. Right? Then we're on that 
five, you can do. Okay. All right. Um, let's go to a, a a different key. Let's do E. We don't really do E a lot. All right. So let's say we're on that three. Right. This right here. I want you to think about something, okay? Uh, I want you to think about chord tones. So I'm gonna, for this, in this key, we're just gonna think about chord tones. So I'm giving you different concepts as I go. But um, in this case, we know that uh, the four in E is a what? It's a, like a A dominant, right? I'm playing the nine in there, but it just, that just a, yeah, A seven, right? When you're doing your runs, although you're in, let's say, although we're in the key of A, I mean, in the key of E, since I'm on this chord at the time, I'm thinking about, okay, well, my, one of my chord tones, I got that flat seven. You remember, like I said, that's a strong place to end it, a run. Uh, you can end it off that third, okay? So since I already know that, we've already established that, let's try to come up with something to end off that. So what I will do... Um, you remember now, you want to go over the blues scale in that key. We've already, I already gave you the formula. Um, you're going to go a whole step down. Remember, play that um, bebop scale. In this case, we're doing the D major bebop scale. Right? Okay, we may use it, we may not, but you, you want to, um, you know, always know that. So, I will do something like this. Let me see. So, um, okay, that's something I think I did that before, and uh, people was like, "Man, what was that?" But um, right, or okay, what I did was I just thought about chord tones for the run. I didn't think about anything else. I said, since I have this. I'm just gonna outline my chord. That's a, a great way, you know, even if you can't really catch on to the other scales. So if I'm here, what I did was I said, I'm gonna start from the top. I'm just gonna do this. Thinking about chromatics, that's gonna help you a lot, right? Start from that E. Now, this is another chord tone, okay? So I'm covering a lot, it's, it, so it can seem kind of scattered, but if you can just kind of take little concepts here and there, then um, hopefully this helps, okay? But um, what I'm doing, starting from that E, and I said I'm gonna do, I could have went straight um, straight to that C sharp. See, you could do that, right? But of course, if you wanna add a little bit more to it, you can do this. You could do that, right? But of course, it wouldn't be a run, at least for me, <laughs> if I don't add in that, okay, you hear a lot of church guys do that. You, you're gonna hear that. So, okay, so that run again, you got, you're bouncing on that, that three, then you get to that four, and you got some time on that four, so. Okay, I started. I always start like two half steps away, if you want to know. So, okay. So even when I was in C, right, and we did this, I did this. See? Every time I get to the third, every time I'm going to the third of a um, particular chord, I'm always, most likely, going to use um, two half steps away to get to it. You see? Two half steps. One, two. So... Just something about that flat seven um, of that whatever chord you're using, okay? All right, so okay. Now, as far as adding in that that bebop scale, um, let me see. I haven't thought of a run to do in E, so but. So that's 
Now, the actual blues scale is... So, of course, I always do this. to get to the four so so you can do or yeah so y'all I literally just made that up so uh, um here we go let me see so you can see my hands so that's just another way of playing a three and then So there you go. And I literally just made up a random place to start, y'all. And what I did, I'm in E. Um, you know what? It's not as random because since I know I'm, I want to use that bebop scale at, at some point, I like to either start on a two or the six. Okay? So if you're in uh, whatever key and you're going to do that that concept, you a good place to start is either on the two or the, the six. Okay? In this case, I started on the two, right? Right? So, um, here we go. Yeah. Okay. And of course I ended on that flat seven because what? That's the that's the flat seven of the four, which is that eight. Okay? So that's the thing. You wanna sit and study these chords so you will know where you're going. Okay? If you if you don't know your chords, you know, or know where you are then it's going to be hard for you to really understand what you're doing. And it's going to be hard for you to create, okay? You could have done the chromatic. You know, and you can do chromatics wherever. If you start one place, you don't have to do a chromatic thing all the way up. But you can just do a couple. Okay, that's enough. Now I can, you know, I can do the pentatonic scale. You remember we talked about that? You know, so um, right, and then we did this. That's the three. You know, right? Um, okay, I put that B flat in there because that's a part of it. I mean, uh. Well, let me see. Yep. Yeah. So, you know, uh, right? So this might, yeah. That's almost like what we did in C. So, um, so what I'm doing, I'm just playing around, y'all. Like. I know that I'm, I'm using that G pentatonic scale, right? I told you about that in the previous video, okay? And then, uh, so we already talked about that, and I'm looking at the the D bebop scale, right? Because that's why I said you can go a whole step down. So that's what I'm saying. Just combine these scales. So I hope um, these little concepts help you out. I told you I didn't want to be as long. Um, I just want to talk a little bit about some chromatic movements and um, landing on chord tones. You know, thinking about the chord that you're on, we were just in E, right? So um, over that four, which is that A, these are your chord tones, right? Or you can do, if you did that, that's a good way. Now, and I also said since we're thinking about the, the bebop scale, you know, You know, just sit there and play with it. You know, so, you know, 
me, me it's kind of it's getting easier just doing it i i haven't really um spent too much time in e before this video just being honest but um now that i know i like to end on that flat seven i'm coming up with all type of ways to get there you know or if i said i wanted to end on the third i could have done I just, you know what? I just made that up. I just want to do chromatics. Um, yeah, I like that. So, uh, I can do, let me see. Right? You see? So, um, I hope this video brought some type of value to you guys. Don't forget to like, share. Um, if you haven't, please subscribe to the, um, to the channel. Um, and I'll be talking with you guys soon.